Well, hey, y'all, welcome back to Mr. America Heart. I'm John Hart. And listen, today I'm offering you a better way of loading those legs of yours. If you have that back pain from things such as squatting or from leg pressing, if neither one of those are working for you, for whatever reason, they're not working for you. And you know, you can see some of my older videos that I've done on squatting and then the real reason behind lower back pain. I'll put the link down below to that video. But if you're having a challenge still, whether it's a flexibility issue, if you just sincerely believe you're not meant to do squats and then the leg press is causing back pain on you and you've discovered that as well, then what options do we have here to get at those legs, to create those big, massive quads, nice muscular legs, and not load the heck out of your back? Well, I can already hear it. I, it, I, I heard it. Belt squats. Oh, oh there you go. Uh, I, yeah, goblet squats. No, no, neither one of those. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the original Bulgarian split squat. Now, down below, I'm going to put a link to an article that was written on the origins of the exercise and also how it's meant to be done. This is not an exercise that you know you currently see in the gyms right now. You can go around, you know many gyms around the country, around the world even, and you'll see mainly, I'm saying this, mainly females doing split squats with their foot back up on a bench and they're balancing on one leg, only one foot touching the floor. The other foot, the top of it is hooked behind them. And here's a picture of it. The foot is hooked behind them on the bench and they're emphasizing some heavy, heavy glute work hamstring work. They're stretching the heck out of that back leg and the hip flexor. They're pulling their hips off a little bit. And a lot of them actually have a little bit of lower back irritation because of it. That's not what I'm talking about. The original split squat from Bulgarians, uh, Olympic weightlifters they were, the original split squat was done on a six inch block. Okay. A six inch block is like this that I have right here in my hands, this box right here the low box that we see in a lot of gyms, okay? That low box, if you do Bulgarian split squats on it with the back foot on that low box, it's only six inches off the ground. The back knee will be bent. You can bury the exercise and squat down on that front leg deep to where the back knee touches the floor. You are now talking about major quad and hamstring glute activation, a complete thigh exercise. Adductors, abductors being engaged as well for stabilization. And the heavier you go with those, this is something that the Bulgarian weightlifters had found out years ago. Uh, Olympic lifters, I should say. I'm, at that point, I'm not sure it carried on over from uh, necessarily the Bulgarian ones, but Olympic weightlifters uh, who have some of the most massive quads around. That it wasn't just the front squatting that they were doing. They were doing these Bulgarian split squats and they were getting some major, major quads out of this movement, massive even. So this is not a fun exercise. I'm going to warn you straight up. Uh, you know, those of you who think you're getting off without doing squats, without doing, you know, heavy leg press. Uh, those of you who thought for a moment, oh, I can just do myself some pretty goblet squats or, uh, 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 you know, some belt squats because there's no loading on the spine on the belt squat. That, that's fine. That's fine. However, when you do a Bulgarian split squat, the reason why it's superior to either one of those last two options is because you are automatically bringing into play single leg exercise, the ability to generate high, high levels of intensity on the one leg is just through the roof, number one. And then number two, you're going to, point, you're going to find out quickly which one of your legs has a little bit of a challenge compared to the other one. Everybody favors one side. So it gives you the opportunity to improve on the strength of the leg and the development of the leg that needs a little bit more attention. So you can start off with that leg, in other words, rather than having it be supportive from the backside. And as a matter of fact, rather than hooking our foot back on a bench, which is a foot and a half off the ground, rather than doing that, if you have the back foot on the six inch block, you are engaging the muscles of the back leg. You're getting the benefit of it being slightly elevated, stretching out the hip flexor behind you, 
and the advantage of using the activation on those muscles engaged on the back leg to push yourself straight up. The movement, movement ends up being more of a vertical movement on a Bulgarian split squat as opposed to a forward back on the split squat. Uh, I said the difference right there, Bulgarian split squat versus split squat. Tradition, not traditional, but current day split squats being done in the gym that you see. The majority of gym goers, um, again, mainly female. Look, if you are a bikini or a wellness competitor who needs to have you know, that banging glute development, the back of the legs, the hamstring has to be popping. I mean, just that's it. That's your whole career. Then by all means, by all means, you do that bench split squat with the foot hooked on it. And yeah, there's more activation. Yes, you're going to be automatically very flexible as well. So on the other hand, if you're after quad development, if you're after you know, uh, all around quad, ha glute, hamstring, all of it, then the Bulgarian split squat is your choice. That is a true single leg squat, in my opinion. So your Bulgarian split squats, give it a try. And when I say it's difficult, you go ahead and do yourself a set of 12 to 20 on each leg and just see how you start, ugh, start trying to talk yourself out of. You say you have to fight your own thoughts after rep number 10 because those reps start to get brutal and your focus, your intensity goes through the roof and you have to be so focused at that point and determined to get those reps. And everything inside you will try and get you to stop doing them because it's that intense. So Bulgarian split squats. Give them a shot in your workout. Hit me down below with your feedback. Love to hear it. Plenty of room for comments down below over there in the comments section. Let me know what you think and how you're using Bulgarian split squats in your own workout or even the traditional split squat and how it's working out for you. And that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart. Off to my left, you're going to see that disc that pops up next to my head. That is the subscribe button for my channel. Please give that thing a tap and let YouTube know that you want to be notified when I have new videos pop up. And then down below, off to your left, you're going to see a thumbs up button right there. Why don't you give that thing a tap and turn it blue? It lets the YouTube algorithm know how much you're liking my videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you soon. Thank you.